President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has approved the proposed Philippine Export Development Plan 2023 to 2028, aimed at making the Philippines a major player in the global export market. To make the Philippines at par with other countries in terms of the export sector, Department of Trade and Industry Secretary Alfredo Pascual said the government has to address the weakest point in this area by developing the country's manpower and by improving the quantity and quality of exportable products. We are laggards because uh, we have firms that are not able to come up with the quantity and quality of exportable products. Uh, uh, just to cite an example, there's a big market for durian in China, uh, but we cannot cope with the required quantity. According to Malacanang, the President is expected to sign a memorandum circular defining and instructing the various agencies of their respective roles in the said export plan. Secretary Pascual, on the other hand, stressed that before the Philippines can export, it needs to produce. He said the first challenge is helping industries produce products that can compete in the market. We are identifying for different sectors with export export potential what their constraints are and we will try to address it at the industry level but also there are certain firms that uh, might require greater support and we will do it we will do our intervention at the uh, firm level including uh, what we're doing now for msmes providing uh, consulting uh, support uh, tech technical assistance, etc. In this plan, the Trade Secretary said four industries would be prioritized, including industrial machinery and transport cluster, media and telecommunications, the health and life sciences cluster, and the modern basic needs of a resilient economy. Nel Maribuhok, UNTV News and Rescue, we serve the people, we give glory to God.